All right, so let's just quickly summarize the updates in BLS, ACLS, PALS, and NALS. All right, first of all, BLS updates. Now there is only a single chain of survival. Regarding ventilation, just give enough tidal volume to produce enough chest rise. There is no fixed volume recommended now. All right, give enough tidal volume to produce enough chest rise. Now, AED pad placement, one pad vertically in the right infracapillary region, the other pad horizontally over the left lateral ribs with the middle of the pad coming in the mid axillary line below the axilla. All right. Now, infant CPR, the two finger technique is no longer recommended. The heel of one hand technique is recommended now. All right. Now, naloxone in cardiac arrest can be given in suspected opioid overdose, provided it doesn't interfere with your CPR efforts. Now, adult and child foreign body in airway obstruction. Now, they are recommending five back blows or back slaps, followed by five abdominal thrusts. All right. Earlier, we know that it was only abdominal thrust. Now, they have changed it to five back blows, followed by five abdominal thrusts. But for infants, we are going to give five back blows, followed by five chest thrusts. The chest thrust, we have to use again the heel of one hand technique instead of the two finger technique. All right. So that was a summary of BLS 2025 update. Now in ACLS 2025 updates, it's mainly in the post cardiac arrest care part. All right. First of all, the temperature control. We have changed the term of targeted temperature management to temperature control. And you need to keep the temperature between 32 to 37 degrees, 37.5 degrees Celsius for at least 36 hours. Okay, that's a new recommendation. Now, prevent hypotension in these patients and try to keep a MAP more than 65 millimeter of mercury. Now, the saturation should be maintained between 90 to 98 percentage. Earlier, it used to be 92 to 98 percentage. Now, they have changed it to 90 to 98 percentage. All right. Another update is in the tachycardia algorithm. Now they are they have removed sotalol from one of the as one of the antiarrhythmic agents in tachyarrhythmia, and now they are being more specific regarding the energy selection for each arrhythmia. All right. For narrow complex tachycardia, it's 100 joules. For monomorphic VT, it is 100 joules. But for atrial fibrillation and atrial flutter, you need to have higher energy of 200 joules. Now in polymorphic VT, like toss at the point is, they are recommending unsynchronized shock in the defibrillation dose. All right. Coming to the PALS 2025 update, during CPR, target diastolic blood pressure more than or equal to 25 millimeter of mercury in infants and more than equal to 30 millimeter of mercury in children more than one year of age. All right. So this is usually seen in ICU patients who already have an IAPP uh, in place. Now, post cardiac arrest can maintain systolic BP as well as MAP more than 10th percentile for age. Coming to NALS 2025 update, if the baby is vigorous, defer cord clamping for at least 60 seconds. All right. 